ignition. Strap in. You're about to listen to the hottest sounds. It's the hottest mixtape in the world. And you've got it. You know me, I'm out here trying to get my little Charlie Hustle on, man, you know? I'm like the Pete Rose of the hood. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Excuse me, young man. Just what is this play early in the game about? Oh, early in the game is an intriguing tale of young black men struggling within the urban environment. Sounds very interesting. We'd love to experience that. Oh, uh, show is stupendous. Ever that it. Can't be serious. Thank you very much, very much. Happy to have you. <laughs> so, 
So let's jump right in. So I know, you know, it's for those who don't know who you are. You just played it, you know, early in the game. I mean, that is the epitome of us young people who who was uh, artists trying to get on, trying to get in it, even though I knew y'all and y'all didn't really like bang me. It's like, no, sure, you can't get on this record. I'll get hit in the head and everything. So, you know, like, so what was, what is it like to be a legend? Like, and I'm not being sarcastic as I was all week. But, like, what is it really like to look at, you know, being a pioneer of the hip-hop industry itself? I mean, you know, like, we were kids when we first came in. So we didn't never expect, you know, we was coming out that people would say that because when we was coming in, this was, you know, late 80s, you're a magazine when you had to be right. you know, so we looked at them as like, right, right. But so for, for years later, for people to call us that, we'd be like, wow, because, you know, we would, I mean, we was first star. We wasn't that good, you know. We were trying to be out there, people out there never going to be out there. But to hear people say, "I rap because of you," right. that's crazy. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's crazy. So, right. so what made you get into rap? I mean, you know, we all came up around that that sound. You know, and some of us could. Some well, of yeah, us you could. know, I'm the guy around my way in the room. He had this group called DJ Bones in the two thousand three. That song you got down. Like when he's on my way, and he was on Power ninety nine. The song was number one. He did the spectrum back in the When it was New York versus Philly. Right, right. And I always wanted to rap and watch him. And I'm like, well, that's what I want to do. I mean, so uh, like, did you have like that first rap? Because I remember my first rap. Oh, yeah, like, you got that girl, like. <laughs> and you're like, you know, that girl is trash. You're like, oh my back God. Then, I was but it was, it was the shit, right? <laughs> So, so tell us a little bit. I want to fast forward a little bit because I know you got like a lot going on, you know. Um, well, we can keep it back there. We can keep it back there. All right, because I, I want to, I want to mess around there. Exactly. Let's go. Let's go in there. Gotta know where you where you Exactly. So, so let's jump into when you actually start getting out there. When, when nine brigade. How did y'all even come together no. to form? No, actually, I mean, task force. Yeah. Man, I know the history. I was there, right? No, okay. Actually, you know, I was a solo in school. Me and DJ Mans was actually a group. Right, right, we right. We from the same neighborhood. Right. But, you know, we won the world supremacy and went on with fresh stuff. Right. So, Sonny Black and I, I, you know, we we go around doing stuff. And there was a guy in my hood named Malik, God bless his soul, he passed away. He was passed on. That wasn't actually our group. Okay. We joined his group. He was by himself on the club, passed on, because he passed. We got his group. He quit, and we took it to another level. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. You okay. know what I'm saying? It's like, right. we got ahead, and when we were so sure of the whole we took it to the next level. Right. We quit, and we kept going. Right. I mean, but in talent shows, it's like, that. remember, it wasn't no social media. So right. We had to do shows. We had to do the work. Yeah, yeah. That's what we Yeah, so we were always rapping our Chinese on the corner. Right, right. All the time, rapping in the store, banging on the door. This is making down the game. You know, he's getting money. Right, right. right. He was like, yo, you got it, child, really good. I want to invest in y'all. And we like, whatever. He like, let's have a seat. He was like, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, so, you know, they got a full high and then they was up higher again, and that's how we met Charlie Mack. We rapped for Charlie Mack and Myers. We had this song called Stutter Style. And from that on, Charlie Mack managed it. The first time we got with him, a week later, we was a college rapper for everybody in the industry. So how does it feel to do that? I mean, because I know I'm from that era. I know that's how I know y'all from that same era. But so for those who don't know how it was back there, I mean, we had to do like yeah, a lot of bullshit. We were jumping on it. Charlie, he took us everywhere. 
Brown, Every Star, Will Smith. Because I got pictures on social media when we was on the set of the Fresh Prince of L.A. Like we, was, we took the pictures of the old set when the real I was there. Wow. You know I mean? like, this is how far we go back as kids. We right. on the set. That's and he had his record. Anybody you name that's been in the industry then to now, we rap for. Everybody. So anybody that, you, you know, can you recall a moment when you were actually rapping for somebody and they kind of like turned their nose up? Nobody turned their nose up. Like turn nobody turned their nose up. Nobody. nobody. People just can't sign you, but nobody was like, oh, no, we got hurt. Y'all was embraced by everybody. Yeah, we, we, was, we, was, we practiced, like, us as young boys, we practiced, like, 18 hours a day. Hmm. On our routine, we do it over and over and over. That's why our best act, we could perform better than anybody. Right. So it's not right. Our stage was our best thing to perform. Right, right. Okay. But I mean, it was, you know. And I, I well, think a lot of, um, you know, I watch a lot of artists today, you know, and I feel like they got away from that, like rehearsals. Like, yeah, no, they don't rehearse. No, they don't rehearse. We went to boot camp. Right. Like, we were boot camp for ourselves. Like, we would do a routine at least 30 times a day. Right. So we, I mean, when we, if we get to that, we toured one time, and I messed up on the part. They brought it to my table. They didn't even do that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like, oh my God. Like, no, you know, you're going to keep going right. the next time. Like, it was hard on each other. Good, good. Like, they used to get on me because I used to be real lazy. Writing songs, they used to cut me out. <laughs> now, I'll be saying for like two minutes, like this. <laughs> like, but then with Charlie had us, like, rapping for everybody, perform for everybody, like, big stage. Like, go back when they had the shows at the Civic Center. Wow. He was on. Smack Show, he was on. Was there, was there like, so, me. so how does it feel like? So when you, you know, and I'm, I'm asking for the people, of course, but when you finally get from, you know, the Chinese store yeah. to that stage, like, let's talk a little, tell the people a little bit more about that adrenaline rush. Fame is like a drug, right? Because I was 16, and me and DJ Mitchell started rapping together. Like, that's how I I had a hit in the hood called Russ Cool. People had my TV, and I was a kid, and everybody was playing. It was well known. And from then on, you be known. And it's like, remember how uh, three and four, when you like, yo, you're going to love me. Right, right. And it's like, I can't quit now. Right. Because when we go to so long, because I'll be out on the streets and out in the world, the people don't let us quit. Yeah. Took yourself out of whatever y'all, whatever flaw y'all carried with task force, 
you know, you moved into now, yeah. you became now, and I think that's that's where that's why branding is. But when so they're really documentary, right, right. Like for all the actors, mm-hmm. you're gonna be in the twice. You got to talk about passports. So you got to talk about that. Hey, right. Come on, come on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like, and then you went to talk about Sunday Dan, but we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. And, and so, so just you know, and I'm following the history that's in my head because you know, um, I've been a fan because you know, a lawyer. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm sitting there and know. Yeah, right. Well, 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 so so speaking of some of the hell, talk, tell me a little bit about some of the some of the things that you went through to even get there. I mean, I know as a female artist, I think we talked about it on the other show, but tell tell the people, the listeners, a little bit about what some what hell means in, in you know, being a rapper, like that is not fun. What's hell being um, an artist and getting on? Losing our group member Q died to a sense of act out evolution was straight water minutes you know, um, when we just had stopped to go with Electra Records, right. still be home like this album, this now our album was hot. We had Missy and Timberland on it, we mm-hmm. had a song with Evie, right. I mean, Little Mo, that, that Lights, Camera, Action record, right. that was our record, the one we did with Evie, with the beat, right. Jay-Z, on that, that All I Need was on that mm-hmm. album. And then TV came out with All I Need Later. That was, mm-hmm. that was the non record. Right, right, right. So we was going to go on tour the next day on a promo run, and that's when it happened with Q9. And that, that was a big thing to go with us. Like, cause he was the fresh new energy we put in because we put him on a spot. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, um, then a lecture dropped it because back then rappers getting shot wasn't in. Right. They were like, oh, they troublemakers down there. Right. They only want to in the first. Yeah, so they, they dropped it. So we like, wow, what, what are we going to do? Right. You know what I mean? Because we got to double back because we, Task Force was signed to a major deal mm-hmm. with A&M, the same record. You signed that deal in 93 with A&M. That's the same with Lindy Jam Jackson. Right. With the guy they have a false and tough great record. Mm-hmm. Like, you signed because we had a video clip on the jukebox. Like, we did a whole album back then in Task Force. Wow. Signed to a major deal. We had Eric Sermon on the album. Um, a lot of people, like Shadeshis, Rams, Wise, right. and was all the Philly really Funk yeah, yeah. okay. And we were getting ready to blow up, and then the black apartment on the label, they shut it down. Racist people right. shut the black apartment down. That and and then that, that's the hell, right? That's yeah. the hell that people are like, really the sick. whole album, like, we were just kids, and we didn't understand that. We, like, we lost it. We didn't have our commercial or BBT, the jukebox, and not to come out, but we doubled back. Right. Went back to the street. Came out with the EP called Time to Shine. Mm-hmm. So it was called Dame Diggy. was number one on the countdown with Golden Boys. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They tanned it up. You know what I mean? And we kept going. Right. Sold a couple copies. You know, it was an all star entertainment with Troy Carter, who's big now with Lady Gaga's manager. Right, right, right. That was on his company. So, you know, we paid our dues. Right. You know and then go down. Then we go through those couple years. Then we get the electric situation. Because we, we beat the streets. I had to switch. Right. From Cash Post to now. We put out a mixtape in 1998 called The Black Tape, mm-hmm. Killed the Street. That's because really people in Southwest and West Philly know about Freeway and P.D. Crack. We had them on that mixtape. Right. He is the streets up. So then, in 2000, we came out with the Green CD. So, so let me ask you this, Mike. I mean, just for the, just for the knowing you know, what you know, uh, being through all things you've been through. I mean, has that ever been like a contract? That you ever thought about as far as like on a whole other you know, level, like where it's like you understand what the contract is? Oh, yeah, no, we had an entertainment on and all that. So we knew what was going on and we wasn't getting bad. But, you know, when you first do your contract and you're doing that of record, your contract they going to be the contract. You know what I mean? Right, right, People right. think that you signed a joint when you're going to get rich, you, you got to earn it. Okay. You well, know, you can ask for all the points on that record. Uh-huh. So I get 16, 17 points. If you don't sell no records, you don't need them. So, like, at, so like at what age did you get to where you got realized that it's time for me to change who I am now, who I am now, to 
go to another level. No, you just evolved with yourself. As you, I stayed me, just the name change. Okay. Like, you know, that's all that was. It's like, I don't sit back and say, I got to change my love, change my image, or do what they doing. Because if I change and try to act like a young boy, it takes away from my legendary stuff. No, I'm trying to be there. Yeah, you can't stay the way for your legend, because then I'm the only legend left. We're talking about what I, I asked you, you know, <laughs> like basically, like, at what age did you reach that level where to go? You want to take it from what you what you had going on to making it more, you know, fitness for you. Oh, um, I got about. Where you go, you start hustling the way your mindset. Was oh, when I was like 31. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like where so it go from with whatever else everybody gives you to everything that you got going on, yeah. it's on you. Now you just, it's on yeah, you. Yeah, it's not on, yeah. it's not on you know, you know work on somebody else's time. Yeah, because you say sometimes you got to take your destiny in your own hands because sometimes oh right. you can't share a blessing. But a blessing's for you, it's for you, you can't split and share it with you. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So you know you got to take that. Sometimes God is safe, but this ain't your time. And this is them when it's your turn to come, it's like it's your turn, you can't share it with you. Right. But sometimes it'll be bad calling around you. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 That's, I mean, because, yeah, I, I, I've known you from back in the day, and it's just, I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, when I it's definitely good to say that and talk to you. No, about. it's good to hear you say back in the day and still in the day, because I've seen a lot of people die and lost a lot of people. So I when you say, I'm good to see you from back in the day. Right. You know, yeah. Yeah. That's the time. I mean, you already know. I mean, it's just coming from that, it's that era. I, I'm one of those young dudes who came through that era that's been able to expand like you did on the stage. Yeah, I mean, say you blessed the things, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, they're part of that. And that's good. You know that I, mean? I, I feel good that I have a picture because I see some people who just don't have no history. Right. I mean, right. I was back then when we was doing it coming up on the underground, nobody talked about them. What? Like the shirt she got on them, now I'm sure I sold a boat load of them. Right. Those dudes that were rapping, nobody else was selling that for 1999 and getting it. Right. It's hard to get people to go in their pocket. Right, right. And these gigs and things. Somebody say you ain't relevant and you ain't gay, they're not going to support it. They're supporting it. Yeah. I mean, that, I think that's what I listen to. When, when, when it comes down to like, people like talking about, you know, you know, why I'm the dancer that I am, you know, I get how much of like PDK, Horseman, you know what I'm saying, Food Legit. Like, we all came up together in that era. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And not me just being me, but they gave me different dance moves and different techniques and how to, how to work things up. So Absolutely. I, I, I get promised to my home. I used to see you with dance. Yeah, yeah, I know. Dance, yeah. 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 I mean, I, I get promised to all the world. I'm telling people know what dance is. They know what dance is. Super funny. You know, super I mean, we can do walk street or, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you definitely can do it on the drive. Like me, I'm real. I love what I do. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was, can get the money because we got bills and got money. Uh-huh. You know what I mean, and, you know, we always laugh with it, joke with each other, we call us up the obvious rap. Because certain people are losing bills, they can't get money. Some had but we wouldn't got enough, but we had three major bills. Right. It's hard to get one. We got three of them, man. That's like, that was decent, man. Like, you know, like, if I don't rap no more, I say, yo, I toured this world three times. You know what I'm saying? A major tour. Right. Oh, but LL, your first time you go on the road is with the GOAT. The GOAT told us, on this tour bus, y'all stars, y'all got what it takes. There was nothing nobody could tell me after that. This is LL telling us that. I've been watching y'all. Y'all been performing, y'all very professional. Y'all doing mm-hmm. y'all thing. Y'all do the stars, y'all got what it takes. So this this, is, was, this yeah. dude I idolized. This right. is the GOAT. I'm yeah, on the tour bus saying this rap, yeah. and he told me that. It's, 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 good. it's nothing you <laughs> can tell me. You know, like I say now, he is the new love from that Sunny Black video. Yeah. Right. If somebody hate on me and don't like certain things, they don't bother me. Because I've been through so much in life, I'm like, you think that's going to bother me? You talk about my age and think that's going to make me quit. I've been through too much to, to stop. Nah. Yeah. You know I mean, what you, just keep, you just keep on thinking on what you're yeah, you know, like, like, nah, I don't I, even worry about that. I mean, no, like, like yeah. one thing I always say about my crew, I'm proud of them. Yeah. Like, we've we been through. The fire and the stuff through and it's still around each other and did what we had to do and did it at the highest level of seeing it got love for people. I remember one time down already 58th Street and 7 11 and 58th and with yeah, We really walked know. in there. We was in 12 magazines that was in that store Source, Street B, King, Double XL, oh, okay. everything that was up there. And I'm like, yo, we from down the street and look where we at. What people said we couldn't do it. Right. Like, 
this thing right there. Yeah, there. like we, the eyes is against you. But you know, you gotta be extraordinary as they say, but now we don't but, but back then we had a lot of competition. It was in, in going into the two thousand, you had state property, you had major figures, you had host money, you had Ram Squad, you had Capital Punishment, you had hot squad. Right. One individual, Nina Capone, you know, just tearing them out the frame. Shout out to Ad Live, I see you there.
right. Now, now talk talk a little bit about that. How um, you know coming home? Like how did you have to you had to actually come back to be like, all right, I need this memory. Um, I need to be able to still yeah, write here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna write back to my mom on 5835 Pet Ranch. I'm gonna write back <laughs> in the basement. Where right. a record deal? I had to film home. Right, right. Just right. over there, rock food, chicken, rock food, all kinds of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was just like, we was in Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> you like, I need to go home. Yeah, we was in Hollywood. We was in real Hollywood. But it's like, you know, and you know what? Like, I, I, let's touch on that. Why, why did you say she, she Hollywood? Because I've seen Oh, my God, here we go. <laughs> but you know what? A little bit more in depth. How did you meet? I used to say to him, he said, 
I'm doing all these freestyles and putting this situation in the place. I call mixtape to get your attention. Because my album is kind of jam. It's for all the pain, the childhood tribulations that I went through and my family went through. Because my family went through a lot of pain and tribulations. Yeah. Yeah. And I know what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Y
so many different situations. What would you give back to our new generation? I mean, I just tell them, you know, like what they're doing, they can't exist. I'm not going to come back to think, because when you this age, you try to school somebody, they can seem like you were hated and better. Right. You just try to say, like, yo, this is how you do it, even though it changed, but it's still more who's doing it. Right. You understand what I'm saying? So you're like, yo, do what y'all do today. I mean, I give you game if you don't want to listen, you don't want to listen. Right. But we was just young boys who listened. Right. Because, you know, Charlie was on it, Ed was on it, this person was on it to make us better. Right. So we got better. Like, I get, like the young that I talk to, I give them jewels, they listen. They listen before they want to listen to But they be like, like I say a rap. Mm-hmm. You know, for certain people like these, the young boy right there, he said he never heard of me. I'm like, he, he might, he, he shut me. He's 16. Right, right. <laughs> you know, like, oh, he ain't buzzing the young ones. He's talking about. I'll be like, that's why I say to Rob, say, ask Tasha Kev. Did he hurt me? Now, ask your aunts and mom. Did they hurt me? You understand what I'm saying? Right. Ask your auntie, your mom, you know, go up the generation. Exactly. They hurt me. I'm like, yo, I don't try to make the youngest like me. They're supposed to like who they like, the people that, that they relate to. Exactly. Like when Lonzo Ball said that about Nas, he was wrong. People still check for Nas. His fan base. Exactly. Just because the fan base that the people you like ain't check for Nas, people still check for Nas. Because Nas has his fan base. When Nas go on tour, the tour sell out in the House of Blues and the Electric Factory and the venue. That's a fan base. I've seen uh, Gangstar when he went out. It was all white people at the Electric Factory. got a fan base when he was young. It's always with hip hop. Rolling Stones, Blue Spring Team, U2 in the mid 80s. They set out the financial, the way the Eagles play. <laughs> right. they, don't, they, don't, they don't care if Cold Play is out or the young rock people like, oh, yeah, we got to be like them. Nah, they do what they do. They like, we ain't changing them. They kids, kids, kids come to their concert. Right. But the rappers, like, when they get older, they say, nah, we, we ain't listening to you. No, you still do what you do. You go for your family. Yeah, because, you know, yeah. as a as a fan of hip-hop, you know what I mean? Like, that's the stuff I want to hear. I don't want to hear all the new stuff all the time. You know, I want to hear, you know, the stuff that I can relate to. You know, I still pop in little Kim Foxy Brown. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, right. from, but the new stuff is for them. Exactly. I, like, people, I always tell people in the interview, they're asking, so what you think of the state of Philly? I'll be like, yo, that's a trick question. Because you're going to ask me how I feel, and if I say I don't like it, you're a hater. You know, this old better. Then you say, you do like it. Why do you like this kind of stuff? I say, let them do what they do. Right, right. Well, let's take a quick second here. I want to play one more song. I want you to kind of concentrate on the uh, on the cameras for a minute and talk to those people because we've been yeah. kind of ignoring them. We're going to jump into no, still number one, you know. Oh, you know I'm not a beginner, amateur or local. My album is selling because of my vocals. You know what you need to learn? Don't always burn uh. You know what you need to learn Old school artists don't always burn uh. You know what you need to learn Old school artists don't always burn uh. You're just another rapper who's had his turn Now it's my turn, my turn. Now I'm still number one Still no niggas, hate it or love it Since I was 17 I had break a deal budget Full deal, three doors and y'all do can't get done Roll the teeth from over the god I'm seen All I need for you to know you still ain't fucking with me Y'all niggas is local But thanks to world star Y'all gon' get a couple looks But y'all ain't going too far I done been mid west, west coast and down south We changed the game when early in the game came out The crowd went wild every city we came out 20,000 strong, all singing along One thing for sure, we still getting it on A few things to remember when you hear this song Cause Because of my vocals
official as Ricky Lake and Jim Jones. LL tour around the up. You ask Noriega Mob D, they down with us. I got business of getting paper like Cuban is. So I'm persistent to do it bigger than Ruben is. And I'm still is. Fuck who the best was. With one verse, my bank account's filling up. That's cuz. I'm not so beginner. Amateur or local. My album is selling because of my vocals. Yeah. Old school artists. I ain't old school. 
anyway. I like I like the title. I like the see we are he like to argue me, y'all. So just so y'all know this was my best. <laughs>
If you don't, then then you will get put in that situation. Listen, she told me that. So she's not just talking. Oh, she told you wrong because <laughs> you have to smoke and she is smoke. <laughs> listen, listen, I am the C. Just the C. Let me try to tell you. Let me try to explain something to you. See, see, I told you. You know we talked about that. I knew that everything was coming up. I didn't even know when. Okay, right. I don't battle no more. That's good. <laughs> Look at the love coming in. They That's like, good. they see him in the bag. Well, I know. If somebody's talking everything you do, you're going to come back. No, I'm not. When I was younger, I was saying So you're, so you mean telling me, like, right? If somebody talk trash to me, I just thought, okay, no, cool. No, 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 no. Somebody came out with a diss track. I'm like, uh, okay, cool. You'll be cool with it. I'll be like, well, I'm going to go back and forth. I'm trying to get more money. Battle was, I didn't really have done that. Me as, me and four I am now, never look nothing. Me battle on somebody, that's like, you know, that's like me out in the street this age fighting somebody. Oh, uh, that's, that's a, you know what I'm saying? Growth and development. Yeah. I mean, it's growth, but like, you did to me, I had for myself in my rap, in my rap and stuff. I said, what you gonna say that I'm old? That's all that you can say. And, but I say it. But that's the show I, about. I say it in certain things. Like, I say, I say, I say I'm having fun with you, Nick. Y'all call me old, but I look younger than you, Nick. On a whole other level. They say the game changed, but I'm going to stay me. Right. You done made to the, you, 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 you want to the next couple levels. Okay, I know you want to say no, it. No, 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 it's about when you in this music, it's called growth. You go right. to the next level, that's the um, and all that. Battling is a part of hip-hop, but it's just not. Me. But you do. It's it's a part of what you go through when you when you gotta prove yourself. And once we've been doing, I mean, we didn't tour, we didn't hit the road, we didn't do everything there is to do. So there's no no point in doing that now. That that's when you're proving yourself. I'm not proving myself. Yes, I'm trying to chase. I call it right, right, I'm trying to chase. Yeah. Tomorrow. And worry about what you wear now. Right, right, right. You can't go back to this. You know what right. I mean? So okay. Okay. I'm gonna go back to this. It's all about now. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So like, absolutely. Rap is fun. Of course, she's going to say she's better. This person says she's better. He says he's better. But it's, it's oh, all that's a, it's a whole way to have fun. So she yeah. tried to come at me. I cried down because it's easy. No, but I must be an ass. We do this on another step. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Everybody wants to go. I'm not really. I want to battle the most because this is the most. But no. no I didn't have to be. Well, I'm going to battle her and I'm going to hurt you. But I didn't say battle. I said bar for bar. That's battle. No, it's just. No, it's battle. Other show on ABM, and I'll come in no, ready to battle him and all that. <laughs> we have a now project done, and then now I just tell you coming out with a now album of Black Ice. Nice. They got a project coming. I'm on it. You know, they might have kicked me off. <laughs> Everybody say I go crazy when I be doing my show, but we it's, we all team. Like right, you know, right. we we brothers more than music. Right. It's like they just told me a little crazy sometimes. Like I go off. With do my thing. I won't call nobody because I'm just walking them down. Right, they be right. like, if people see them like, what's up with these? Are you crazy? They be thinking I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I just know, like, it's now or never. I live every day like it's my last day. Right. There is no tomorrow. You got to. Because the odds is already against you. They're mm-hmm. saying it's a young man's game, which is not. Right. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's everybody's game. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It. Yeah, it's everybody's game. It's they, so it's everything you know what you do. So, so what can we expect from the uh, Sun and Dan album? Oh, no, on the Sun and Dan album, it's good, tragedy, redemption, life, struggle, all right. that in one. I'm t- my album, if you put it in, you're going to listen to the side eight, because this is all me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's, like, it's like, damn, this dude took you on a roller coaster ride, but it's, it's everything I'm saying is true. The stuff I might say, you probably go through it in life. Right. Is this like the most important album that you Yeah, because it's the Sun and Dan is me. It's so it's a whole other game. Like this 58 Street, don't play back on the mixtape that I'm going to drop. Okay. From the 80s, 90s, 2000, and oh, I talk about everything that happened in Southwest, everything that happened in my hood. I say names, people with these big spots, places, towns, and everybody be named it like, you know, you took me back. Because I'm giving a history that sometimes you got to know history. Right. You got to know where you've been and know where you're going. <laughs> Shout out to Andrew on here spitting my lyrics. Oh, no. <laughs> That's bad. So you know what I'm saying? So it's like right. I'm giving a history lesson on that. Something that a 
a younger dude don't know, but the older person don't like, yeah, that was the spot. He's talking about that. Right. Because I'm doing it for uh, my error. Exactly. I mean, because nothing changed in rap. If something sounds good, it, it just sounds good. Right. You, if you're 90 with a head, I'm rocking with it. Exactly. I'm like, you that dude with that name, Josh, that Right, right. You know what I mean? Like, Jay-Z joint. I mean, when you look at it, Jay-Z joint. Rick Ross joint. Right. Uh, Fat Joe. Mm-hmm. Scoop drop. They own it. Right. The young boys are still there, but the old heads are there too. You know, and it's funny because their industry, industry, you know what I mean? So it's like people don't look at their age as much as they would if I was to put out a record. You no, know money, you know what I mean? money separates them. Exactly. If you wealthy, ah, yeah. But if you're still on your pride, they try to listen. I say this once. I say, my age now, if I die, I'm going to be with Right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Like you were saying, but then you rap it. Oh, he's too old to rap. How I'm too young to die, but too old to rap. Right. See that? Right. That's right. crazy. Oxymoron. Right. Don't make sense. It don't make they sense. They don't make sense. Oh, he was so young. Right. And then with this guy, you do it. Like, that don't even make sense. Right. 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 Tell me. Right. Like, Pop, tell me. <laughs> they need to check themselves, Q. Right. Right. They need to smack the top and let them motherfuckers know that this nigga can fill out. Right. Anytime Q feel like you gotta get the rubber in your feet, part to get the whip behind your back and go out of blades if you got it. Y'all see this? This is what he's doing. Otherwise, like. you ain't shit. Alright, you might as well be dancing dance stuff. I ain't trying to tell you ain't shit. I tell your mama you ain't shit. You know <laughs> People need to know that you do this all day. This is what we go through. We be live on the air. He be like, hold up. <laughs> You know, do my fucking thing. This, this, this is the love. This People is the love. People fight on the street, nigga. You don't even give a fuck. We want security guards and cops. Rider man, old man cooler, we come up with that bullshit store, with that bullshit gun. We're going to need a movie. Oh, we do a fucking run. That's a goddamn track. I'm serious. You know I'm right. Raheem, you know I'm right. No, we're going to go. Now, who got the juice? <laughs> That's all right. We're going to end it with that. Who got the juice? <laughs> yeah, but. I mean, this this has been a crazy, crazy dope interview. I think people have gotten a lot of information that, you know. No, I can't listen. This show needs to be longer because there's so much I could have But we do another show. We, I know, but we, we can so do this. Much. But we co host. We can do this whenever there's we so want. Much. You know, we can just do the whole, uh, you know, Rambo slash kind of Jan day. You know yeah, what I mean? I mean the whole, yeah, the a whole, whole day. We can sit in here and have our vegan. Our vegan yeah, uh, I mean, I'm trying breakfast. Vegan, y'all. And, y'all. I didn't turn these things. There we go. Because I run five hours every month. He trying to kill me. We going, I'm going to have to hit the track. Now, see, when I start slimming down, don't y'all be nervous right, now. You know, because I say, you got to, if you still in the game, you still got to look the part. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I jog. It's just me, though. It's a part of my life. Right. I don't have people say, when they see me, oh, you look good. Like, man, you still look tough. Like, exactly. Right. And right. I still rap. What's going on? You don't hear me and hit, make you hear Kumo B. Right. You understand right. what I'm saying? I don't say I'm big, no, I come. But I'm proud of the era I came from. I'm proud of that history. Right. I'm proud that these young rappers, the dude they look up to, we influence the rap. Right. A lot of people don't influence people. Exactly. exactly. We influence the people. Right. They might not get on the airways and say it, but they know. <laughs> and and let, let's talk a little bit about that for the next few minutes. I mean, one of the same reasons why I didn't, you know, when I saw when I saw you, you know, I was like, well, how you doing? You know, you were looking like this month. But, you know, and I explained to you on air, and I'm going to do it on this air, too, so people know, like, why you were snapping on me. You know, we friends. But I did it because a lot of times when you see people that you came up with, that you was running the streets with, that you was cool with, that y'all was on the same thing, they act like, you know, they Hollywood. They really don't want to talk to you. They like, oh, yeah. You know. I never was me or my crew. No. I, mean, I, I, no. I, 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 I might be like, yeah, you know, it's a phone. What did you do? Yeah, I said, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, it, it's dope, you know, and, and for us to even connect like that, our energy was like, bam, we were right back at it, and it was crazy because, like I said, I run into a lot of people, especially in here, you know, in the studios and all the different radio stations right here, and you see them, and they like, hey, oh, what you, what you do over here? Like, what the fuck you think I do? Like, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, you can cut? You, you can cut. You want to cut? Go ahead. Go ahead. You want to say like three cut words. Get it in. You motherfucker. So you ain't heard no cut for no. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to say what's the TV. Right. But, you know, I think I think that's important. We do got a caller real quick. I'm going to take the caller. Um, is that you? No? That's mine too? Okay. So I got to make sure that's not somebody in the room. Let's bring the caller in. Hello? 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 H
What's up, caller? What up? Just calling to shout my bro, son of Jan, out to the boy Rick Stone. What's going on? Is this this Rick Stone that shoots videos in, in 13 seconds? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. What's up? Yo, I need you to shoot a video for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice stuff. Excellent work. Like, I went to sleep, and, and I woke up, and the video was done. That shit edited. <laughs> that shit right. I was like, wait, didn't this just... Wait, I remember this from yesterday, and the shit is ready. Yeah. So shout out to Rick Stone for the great work. That's like really amazing. I'm impressed. Um, you know, thanks for tuning in. I know you know. You shout out to Rick Stone. You know, uh, shout out to Rick Stone, the best photographer, videographer, slash manager, slash driver. You know, now get off my phone. <laughs> <laughs> we, good job, good job. we appreciate you, Rick. But we're gonna go jump in. We'll uh, see another person coming through. Let's see if we can bring them in. Real quick like here. Let's see. All right, Rick, we'll see you. Just get that that next uh, seven videos done by tomorrow, okay? Got, got uh, you. <laughs> All right. So that that's Rick, y'all. Rick is uh phenomenal. Like I'm I literally, I'm not making this up. I went to sleep. I think I went to sleep. I don't know. And the next thing you know, there was a video. You know, they, I'm doing, I'm doing, you know, but I love to do what I do. And I appreciate all the love from the people. And, you know, older, young, you know, it's like, it's still to be here from all the shopping to the things that I've been through. Like, I'm just happy. Like, I wake up and love what I do. It's like, Hey, the dude's not rich, so much. I love it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm just happy to be around and still get the love for the people. Like, a lot of people don't get love. Right. Shout out Fina Love. Shout out to my mom. Oh, what's up? Shout out to my mom. She said we're having too much fun. You know what I mean? I'm just having a serious time. I'm just happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to be here with y'all. That y'all might have me on y'all's show. Like, I do it over there. And a lot of people try to get me on the show because now Brigade got a story. Exactly. And people be wanting to talk to us. But we just be like, you know, we be having to get right because much of the love, we get a lot of hate. Right. right now, like I told the boys, like, yo, we get love out here. Let's just pay attention to the love. Pay attention to the love and, and embrace and, it. And, and where yeah. the hate, yeah. you know, the hate and you drop the hate and put a S. What's that? Right. <laughs> Right, right, and you know, and it, it, it's going, it just builds up. Once you start embracing the love, then it, it creates more love. And, you know, and it, it's dope because, you know, we got kids like when my my daughter she see y'all, she hear the name. I'm I'm I'm, I'm about to interview Rambo from Nine oh. Eight. You know, and she like, you know, she get her phone out, they googling you. Yeah. Like, they was like, oh, all right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, so but. Like, right, right. It's linking up with you when you got me on there. You do the business stuff. Because my thing is, if you're smart in the circle, you're in the wrong circle. Exactly. So you got to surround yourself with positive energy, exactly. and it comes back. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. if you don't go through nothing, you don't know nothing. But y'all dropping jewels on y'all right He's dropping. He's dropping. Oh, we love it in there. We love it in there. I'm dropping jewels <laughs> on y'all right now. You know, because I had an ego before. Right. Not that kind of ego. E-G-O-I-S got out and not no more. See, I'm dropping two <laughs> So people wonder why I laugh a lot. This you is, know, because sometimes, you this know, is when you're strong, they think you're weak. Right. And when you're weak, they think you're strong. Oh, man. What's about this? Two five. <laughs> two five. You got, look, you see, it got the people laughing. So we, we are going down in a minute. If you want to talk to the son of Dan, you better do it now. 215-383-5799, y'all. Just press one after you dial in to be here. He dropped his jewels. I appreciate the love, y'all. You know what love me? Let ourselves by to each other. Let ourselves by to each other. See, I'm a deep dude. I was up here having fun. I didn't want to take y'all to church. Now, nigga, hands down. Now, ask your eyes tomorrow. Get in here with me. 
I'm having fun with you, nigga. You call me old, but I look younger than you, nigga. They say the game changed, but I'm going to save me. Live by your words. Fuck, you pay me. They ask you the best, you better save me. Because I'm so, so desperate, I ain't JD. All eyes on me like pop. It's about to go down like young chop. I hear a little talk, nigga, taking shots. But I don't pay him no mind because a nigga hot. I got to get this money by any means. Me and my squad tight like skinny jeans. I stay strapped like Monster Mike. You know, it's cooked to the audience. I got what you like. I got the five eights, no twelve twelve. You know, I spit fire, so I give them hell. I'm on the block late night with Rich Rell. And Cat Daddy Book, they won't give a bell. You say you got loud, but where the jar's at? You say you get money, but where the car's at? You say you got holes, but where the sluts at? I'm trying to shoot dice, where the smoke's at? She said, I ain't 11. Fuck that. <laughs> 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 I feel all young. 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 I Bro, you switched your number on me, homie. Me and I talk all the time, man. Come on, Coley, yo. You get Listen, me, man. man. Only got, so nearly got my number. Just call me, baby. Hey, man. Yeah, took, I'm happy for y'all guys, show, man. man. I love the show. You know you're there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, man. Oh, Come on, man. <laughs> we, we go back to Coley, on. Coley, on, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, Coley, that's my girl. You know, Nina, my girl. All right. Yeah, Coley on the people. Coley on the top like a cookie. Call me, baby. Just call me, man. I'm proud of y'all, Nina. Good job, baby. Thank you, thank you. You know, I'm always grinding. Good job, man. I'm trying. I'm trying. Coley on the. It's past my bedtime. I stayed up for this job. Oh yeah. Need the best, man. And my man right here. And my baby oil. Oil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, baby. I love y'all. Definitely. Give me a call, cuz. All right. No doubt. No doubt. All right. But, yeah, so, you know, I do have to uh, play one more joint before we, you know, get off the air. Okay. Um, and then we let you talk about this joint right here. So I was just pulling stuff. I'm random with it. So let's this next shit right here is called Day Hot. Day Hot. Feature Sunny Black, Rambo, and Q Dawn. Check this shit out. Check my- 
the dom is. I rock your boat, don't know what Calvin Klein's is. You fucked up, nigga, you know what a grind is. Yo, the Chris is shit, the whirlpool theme bad. 50 inch screen with the dream pad. I got a Puerto Rican bitch with a mean ass. Rambo and Meat Mill to hell green brand. Y'all can't see us, all up on us in 3D us. Stop beeping me, bitch, be there about 3 inch. I'm really trying to see the type of chick she is. You wanna follow Ali? Be dons like we is. I'm all in it. Zip your cools, all in it. My be your cool. Rims up and all thin it. Shit, I'm all thin it. Come on, hit the streets up. Platinum, five times. Why you trying to re up? Nigga, go down south. Yo, 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 we back, y'all, yeah. And I wanted to just play something with, with everybody on it, so I was like digging and digging, and I was like, doing this, this one, this one hit you, and that's what I wanted to hit home real quick um, before we got off the air, you know. Um, so it was a pleasure having you here, yeah, you know. And for I, those who don't know, we do host another show. I don't even know the name of that show is called, because I'm always late. Welcome to Real Life, y'all. Check it out on <laughs> ABM 101. Um, we're we're on there. I'm there on Mondays, and every other day I'm late. So Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. I'm only on time on Mondays, and then it's four to seven. And the rest of the days I'm gonna be late, so I'm gonna pop in. And it's like, a dope you know, situation, man. It's cool yeah, it's like it's like the breakfast club, but we more like the dinner club. Yeah, the dinner club. <laughs> we like after dark. You know yeah. what I mean? So. Check that joint out. No, but I knew, not to catch you, but uh-huh. I knew this was going to be fun. You know what I mean? Because, you know, it's like, it's, it's not enough time to talk about what I can talk about. Absolutely. You know, situations make statements, places like, oh, it's going to be fun. But I'm just saying, right, right. so many stories, like, to bring the crew up. Right. Like, now I'm an ice and sunny, so, you know, to tell, you know, who's working on, like, this is hell, low, you know what I mean? Little country, you know what I'm saying? We got to invite everybody up. Yeah. Like, I want, next time I want to go. Exactly, right. Come on, we can't leave. We can't leave. Uh, not telling, so no, up, we can't. Man? Now you know he ain't. Bro, I got you. I got you. No, I hide you in the room. <laughs> so if anybody don't know who Jimmy Brinks is, y'all know I shout out this white boy on my page all the time, and I be like, this my brother. And y'all probably be like, how the hell is that your brother? <laughs> and he got tats all over his face and everything. We got a couple songs together too. So shout out to Jimmy Brinks. Um, this is how far we go back. We go back so damn far. I can't. So we that's another time and place we're gonna talk because about I you know all that. Jimmy Brink. I am the kid with the golden eye. I discovered that guy. Jimmy is old. He's old, yeah. Jimmy. He's <laughs> the trauma, the trauma squad, whatever that was. How did you get over? <laughs> Tell him. So we gotta have Jimmy on here. So Jimmy, is Jimmy on? Because you know Jimmy is well, on here. Jimmy calling my phone in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let me talk to him. <laughs> Tell him, Jimmy. We gotta get him. I'm the one. <laughs> And and well, he'll be back. Don't worry, yeah. y'all. He is yeah, my co-host on a whole here. nother show. I, listen, I ain't gonna be here. He will be here. here. If I come back, you not have a birthday to me. cake yet. That's I not that hard to do. I heard it on the air, so we already know. I want a big birthday to come back. Yeah, I want a vegan birthday. You got a vegan birthday. I got a vegan birthday.
I would never bet on me. Nah, listen, I gotta mess with it. I would fuck with that. That's how I would never bet. Remember, now, what you gotta understand is that's the same way I feel about dancing. You talking about that. Listen, the rapping. like that, we chill like that, we peace like that, I'm out. Easy.